Welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator with me, your host, Brian West, here to give you the top eight headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Now, as usual, I gave you the top eight local headlines and developing news stories that made it first, followed by a movie clip, a skit, a trailer, or something that's going on in the community, or maybe some pictures. And then I'll give you the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it, folks. So let's waste no time. Yeah, dog. <laughs> let's get to it. Story number one, teaching the art of fencing and other business stories to check out here's one a Mormon woman Kathy Durrell is teaching fencing to local patrons here's another one two Valley business leaders uh, have been accused of a 1.6 million dollar federal case of wire fraud another story Senator Sherrod Brown is still in the fight to restore former Dell five pensions here's another one the green team and second harvest food bank made headlines in the fight to fight food waste now these are things taking place in the local business this arena and stories to see how they develop over time stories to check out to see how they develop over time now these stories could be t these are stories about teaching and participation right along with the judicial ramifications that uh, take place when you uh, wire or do wire fraud transfers or however you want to call it and these stories also highlight charity in the local community story number one that's why I made it this week story number two Tim Ryan and J.D. Vance deliver a heavy Ohio debate. Mixed reviews. There's mixed reviews from the Tim Ryan and J.D. Vance debate. Now, each candidate stood firm on their plans and delivered some big jabs testing each other's character. So they, 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 they stood firm on what they have planned and they took some jabs at each other. Now, the key for each candidate will be convincing undecided voters. That's what it's looking like right now. Now, Tim Ryan did make one key talking point about wanting to see some new faces in the big political arena as his local legacy continues to be in question and it continues to be tested by local people. Now, one thing that stood out in the debate is the fact that each candidate is being briefed on the new American agenda. So you could tell that they're being briefed and they're being uh, well-schooled on what's going on around them. Now, what matters now is which party will fill the seat vacated by Robert, Senator Robert Porter, well, former Senator Robert Porter, who will be stepping down. Now, it's obvious that the chess pieces are being moved by each party. The story is still developing. That's why story number two made it this week. Story number three, a local letter to the editor acts is asking what happens when the ARP funds runs out. Now, what happens when the funds run out and when it does where will the extra money come from? That was a question in a local letter to the editors at The Vindicator. Now, the goal to build a uh, somewhat community-centered uh, policing hub at a former McDonald's on Market Street is now in question because of such questions. Now, this one question shows why the city is strategically using the funds for improvements rather than hiring. The city also has to find a way to increase its own revenue base, its tax base, which can only be accomplished with growth and an increase in that tax base. Now, this story is still developing. That's why story number three made it this week. Story number four, a grant to help Mahoney County vets, a grant to improve the legal matters of Mahoney County veterans has made headlines. $750,000 is being released to provide peer support for military veterans. Judge Anthony Diapolito states that the purpose is for a veterans felony court to rehabilitate military veterans who have been charged and uh, well, with, who have been charged with low-level felonies and nonviolent crimes and, and that are eligible 
eligible for probation. Now, according to a local Vindicator article, the program will provide counseling, mentoring, supervision, and mental health services. The article goes on to explain how the court will be shaped specifically for the needs of veterans suffering with substance dependence, mental illness, traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, or or co-occurring disorders. Now, the goal will be to steer military veterans from traditional criminal justice from the tr traditional criminal justice system into a special court designed for them. I guess that's what the grant is used for. And that's why I started with four beta this week. Anytime you're talking vets, you're talking news, big news. Big, big. Story number five. Campbell is in revitalized mode. Campbell, uh, plans to put $750,000 to good use by improving the city's appearance. Campbell Mayor, the Campbell Mayor is using the, his time in office to carry out his improvement strategy for the city on the hill. Campbell, now the plan is simple. He uh, has included revitalization and blight remediation in his improvement plan. That's why story number five made it this week. The city on the hill is looking up. Move it on up. Big, big head. Story number six. Lorestown has big plans moving forward. Foxconn has confirmed an agreement for a fourth battery powered vehicle. Lorestown has big plans moving forward with the Altium cell plan and the push to be a major player in the electric vehicle market. Now with Intel set to uh, move into Ohio, Lorestown could be set to see more growth in years to come. Uh, well, this, this story is still developing because Intel is a uh, is, has been in and out of the headlines, but they're still set to move in Ohio. That's a big chip manufacturer, so we'll see how this develops. Big, big headline. Story number seven at the top two local headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Hoo Step right up. Top two stories for you to keep you informed. That's all I can do. And my allotted amount of time will just plan it. That is my purpose. <laughs> the Lord has blessed me with a purpose. Story number seven. Youngstown is still aiming to stop the shooting. After two more shootings on the south side, the people of the people on the front lines are noticing emerging patterns in the crime statistics data. Now, most of the offenders are repeated offenders. That's what they're noticing. Now, the data was also showing that most crimes are connected. Now, what's also clear is 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 that however this is happening has to do with regrouping communication and loyalty so that means that there's something this is these are organized crime now the city will the city with a long history of crime known as youngstown and corruption is seeing a ripple effect of local citizens bred into this type of culture that means some of these people have been doing this since they were babies selling drugs since they were young lads now at the moment the only way to stop this or the way to out of this is either through infiltration elimination that means death or programs with incentives to get people out of that lifestyle that's why story number seven made it to the top two this week big big head story number eight and the top local headline and developing news story that made it this week Step right up, and we've got a story for you on www.8www top eight stories. Story number eight for you. Ooh. I got up this morning, ate breakfast, thought about one thing, and that's get these stories out to you. Ohio, story number eight. Ohio is still in the fight to get voters to the polls. How big is that? The goal is to get people to understand the importance of a representative republic. Now, when voters don't participate, they are forfeiting their basic rights as a citizen. Now, the right to vote, that's locally too. Now, many Americans, many, many American nationalities have earned that right and fought for it. Now, at the moment, Ohio is projecting a 50% turnout but is still promoting the goal of 100 participation in the political system. Now, this election, there are some important sets or well, important seats up for grabs, and a lot of people are waiting to see what happens in Ohio. These are some big, this is a big, big election 
Uh, so, so we'll see how this turns out. Well, folks, those are our top eight local headlines and developing news stories that made this week. I'll be right back with the top eight international headlines and developing news stories. So don't you go anywhere. You're the media to be Brian West. I'll be right back. Tune in and don't forget to subscribe to Method 8 Inc. YouTube channel. You can also watch free public entertainment. And don't forget to show some support by visiting www.method8inc.com by buying something, clicking something, watching something, or just reading something. You can also sponsor a program as well. That's www.method8inc.com. Buy stuff, watch stuff, or read stuff. Hmm, what does Method8inc.com Media Center have that I need? Small prints? event consulting, photography, business consulting, technical consulting, entertainment consulting, fundraising advice, event videography, movies, news, publishing, media, books, entertainment, acting, broadcasting, public relations, access to the visual and performing arts, ink and black ink refills, audio recording, graphic design, theater, minor computer and cell phone repair, and they're located at 5648 Market Street in Boardman, Ohio from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. every Monday through Friday. The list goes on and on. Method8inc.com. Buy stuff. Watch stuff or read stuff. Oh yeah! And yes, we are chipmunks. <laughs> Don't be so pessimistic. Everything will be fine. I should have stood with my first mind. I stood away from that slaughterhouse. You know, everybody that goes in there always comes back with that news. Crazy. You've been wasting my time for the last three weeks, and you almost lost me money last fight. Now get on the bag. Good lord, Justice, put some offense to it. He gave me his last 50 bucks. He wants to fight. So, what's his story? The guy's lost everybody close to him from cancer. Nice. So he's desperate. And he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> you lost your damn mind. What? There ain't no cure for cancer. Also heard that your wife killed herself because she had cancer. Dude, you're a freaking hero. Good luck on your next fight, bro. Do you think the experiment's getting out of hand? Welcome back, welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Folks, to do this job is tough. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I'll be flipping through the news and I will see some familiar faces. And it's it's tough. I mean, I'll be checking out stories and sitting back and, you know, adjusting things and, circling and taking notes next thing you know i'll see somebody oh my god is that terry terry's in the paper that's my cousin oh hell no you'll see the bug shot i mean you've been knowing these people your entire life you'll see their face sitting right there cousins of all ages shapes different nationalities and it will blow you away but as the mediator, you got to keep moving on, believing that hopefully one day it's not you. It could be me in the paper someday. I don't know. I mean, I've got bad habits. Well, I don't got bad habits. I got good habits. But but sometimes you 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 think it could be a little flaw. You got to correct it. Make sure you you know when you wake up in the middle of the night, the beast is calling you. Hey, call up Big Teresa. She needs some loving. Ooh, blah, blah, no, no, no! I gotta stay focused. Get these stories out. That's what I'm telling you. That's why it's tough being a media because I got to practice self-control. I got to be clean, heavenly, presentable. It also got to be what they say. Uh, I have to be on alert because I don't know who could be next in the articles. <laughs> well, folks, it's my story this week. I'm telling you right now, don't get caught up because I don't want to see the people I know and love anymore on the front page. <laughs> I'm looking for a blessing. Bless me with good news, folks. Well, let's get let's get to it. Let's waste some time. Let's get to it. Story number one: How sports is bringing the world together. It's talking about some good news. 
Over the years, athletes have been staying in the headlines for various reasons. For global issues to mainstream stories hitting the news, athletes have stayed consistent in the headlines, voicing their concerns about well, voicing their concerns and using their platforms to address certain issues. Now, the business of sports has also expanded into global dreams. One headline points out how the NFL is giving Africa or Africans a, from Africa a chance after allowing uh, Obita Azu, uh, who has uh, some roots in Nigeria, into the league. So Obita Azu is uh, in the league, and he is uh, uh, the league is allowing Africa Africans to come and play in the NFL, and the NBA, the MLB have also stated headlines by giving players from all over the world a chance in sports, not just Africa, other nations as well. You've got uh, uh, from South America, you know, these this, these leagues are turning to they're giving everybody a chance, and that's good. Now, recent news about Brittany Grinder has put Russia in the spotlight also about how, how Russia has been treating its athletes who, who break certain laws. So these are just, this is how sports is impacting the global arena. Now, in the midst of the global madness, people have turned to sports to cope. And they're seeing hope and seeing people from their own countries playing in America and, and being put on the global scale. We even see people from China get a chance in sports so story number one is just another story to look out for because sports is playing a big role in getting these players in the spotlight obina azu Z. I i believe that's how you pronounce it so congratulations obina Z. you gotta learn how to i'm an african-american i gotta learn how to speak my own boy boy well i've got a lot of stuff in me but i've got to learn to speak african big big headline story number one Story number two, how one story is making sure missing children stay in the news. One headline relating to missing children uh, surfaced in USA Today. Now, the headline shines light on race, social media, and missing children. Now, what got this story in is the fact that there are still a lot of missing children yet to be found thus making it mysterious and a, and a constant story circulating in and out of the headlines. Parents who have been victims are doing everything to keep people aware of their stories, and that's how the story got in. Big, big headlines. Story number two, missing children are staying in the headlines because it's been happening. I think this has been ongoing since the founding of this country. Big, big headlines. Story number three, China seems to have regrouped with a solid vision for the future. Now that the world has somewhat adapted to COVID-19, it seems that China has regrouped with a solid vision of the, ch the country's future. Now it seems that Xi Jinping will remain in power for the rest of his life and China continues to make strides in manufacturing and expansion even after other people are in decline. Now China's electric car market is also booming. Uh, this, they don't know how long it's going to last, though, but it is booming. Now, human rights advocates have also reported that China's secret police have invaded America's shores. Now, the, the Fox News report says that the country has established at least 54 police stations across 30 different countries, including the U.S. China has remained in the headlines, but the old trade war news has faded uh, but it's still, but this, no matter, even with, with the trade war news fading, it's still been drawing more attention on the state of China and the United States relations either way. That's why story number three crept in this week. Big, big hit. Story number four. Parents are sticking up for their kids, especially little girls. Now the talk is about gender and sexual education. Some weird topics even include revealing the teachers, the one revealing and teaching gender dysfunction, etc. That means uh, gender dysfunction. People who think that, who may be a male but think that female, all that stuff. Now, either way you teach it, the subject has caused parents to rebel against the system and voice their concerns. More stories are also emerging about little girls who are battling with anxiety and depression. There's been a slight uptick. These stories are putting attention on on well, putting attention to these subjects and keeping it news in the news and relating to more laws protecting children. So keeping news about more laws relating to 
children and the headlines. That's why story number four made it this week. Well, folks, those are our top four international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. I'll be right back with the top, top four. So don't you go anywhere. You're in the media. It'll be Brad West. I'm right back. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If go to the website, it's M E T H O D, the number eight, INC.com. Method88.com, you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just follow some program. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that made us week. Folks, I have to continue to shout out the uh, breast cancer survivors and victims out there. I even did a film a while back. It was a good film, too. I put a lot of work into it about breast cancer. And uh, to be honest with you, nobody showed up. And uh, it was very, very sad. Even the actors, some of the actors didn't even show up. And it was a good film, good product. And it went towards a good cause. I even met a, a girlfriend after the uh, after we had... Some people were there. It was a few actors who had showed up, but not a whole thing. I mean, uh, when you live in a city that's in poverty, all they see is violence and killing. Nobody's going to show up. They don't care. They just want to make some money, go to work, come home. Some of me don't need, don't even know who they're voting for. That's a fact. So I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm doing this film, and I met a girl, and she didn't even care. She comes home. You don't care about me. I said it was a film about breast cancer. I got breast cancer. I said you ain't got no damn breast cancer. You're lying. You're lying to get love. And that's the problem. You're lying to get love. That's the stuff you got to go through and being, a, being a, uh, growing up in poverty and seeing everybody all strung out on drugs. Everybody's looking for some love and they'll do anything to get it. Could be looking for some money too. But I just be real, you know. But breast cancer is serious and I try to make a serious product for serious people and I, and I end up getting treated like a joke. Spent a lot of time on a project. I even had a... Like I told you last week, I, my grandfather died of cancer, so this meant a lot to me. I even put his name in the credits. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody care. I'm starting to think about getting me some shirts. Uh, the mediator lives matter. That's what I'm thinking. Everybody else talking about their lives matter. Does the mediator lives matter? I'm glad I got that off my chest. I, I feel much better now. Whew. Oh, yeah. Whew. I feel much better. Well, that's why I'm here. This is my therapy. I'm getting it out. Oh, let's get to the stories. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Story number five. Sad sometimes being me, but I got to keep on going, keep on chugging along. Story number five, the world has to solve the growing problem of inflation. Inflation continues to be, to be a major problem and the IMF wars of rising prices and how they will be worse in the UK. Last week, Turkey reported inflation was at 83%. That's big. The United States has used the terms unique economy to describe its market how crazy is that now this story will be a on will be a top will be on top as as the midterm election questions it'll be a probably build top midterm election qu question period because the cost of food in the united states is rising at at, at the fastest pace since 1970 since the 1970s according to one bbc report that's why story number five crept in this week big big hit story number six the most recent hurricane also killed jobs it was a job killer economists stated the obvious in the most recent hurricane news and that is the fact that the hurricane's impact will be felt for some time. CNN Business reports that economists say that tens of thousands of people are likely to file for unemployment benefits because the storm killed their jobs. Now, the storm also hit the tourism sec sector, section, sector also with insured uh, losses uh, of, of between $53 billion to $74 billion. Damn, that's a lot of money. Now, according to that's according to the RMS. Now, uh, this story is still developing. Big B. Yeah. Story number seven of the top two international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. I'm giving you a deal. Top eight stories, an offer that you cannot refuse. Story number seven. Something strange is happening in the field of U.S. politics, folks. Folks, election day is around the corner and something strange is taking place in the political arena. Legislators have found themselves in a moral swamp filled with protests and people fighting for what the righteous call immoral laws. Now, there are a lot of politicians under the microscope due to the moral codes and historical facts that have seeped into the political arena. Facts that wouldn't have existed years ago. Now, per perception is everything 
in this story, but there is a reality that comes along with someone who makes a moral vote this year. And the reality has to do uh, with current conditions in some communities. So that moral vote may not even feel moral. It may feel like you're out of touch or you're a sellout or something. This is what's happening. And this is a fact. Now, from the current story surrounding Trump's time in office to the current uh, trial trail of events conspiring around Democrat policies. The fact is that something strange is taking place in the political arena. The story is still developing because those informed voters are keeping a close eye on those uninformed voters. Big, big headline. Story number seven. I almost made it to the top this week. Story number eight in the top. It's an national headline and developing news story that made it this week. Folks, aren't you excited? about this top story this week aren't you excited to see someone doing something positive with their time someone trying striving for the goal to keep you informed because i care if i didn't i wouldn't be here i wouldn't be wasting my time but i believe in you and me i believe in you and me see i was lost but now I'm free, telling you a stop story for you and me. Story number eight, energy concerns have global leaders making deals fast. Top story. The world needs energy, folks. That's a fact. We need energy to heat our homes. We need energy to travel. And we need energy to live comfortably. Global leaders are on the move trying to meet the needs of their people. The White House says that Biden will work with Congress to reevaluate its relationship with Saudi Arabia after OPEC decided to decrease oil production in an ongoing story staying in the headlines. It's not leaving. Even as the show this show airs, more new headlines are emerging in that energy battle saga. Now, it's clear that whatever the plan was... The transition for cleaner energy, while also attempting to steer away from fossil fuels, is hitting some friction points. It's hitting a snag. Israel and Lebanon have also made some headlines after reaching a historic agreement that could pave the way for potential rich gas exploration, according to CNN World. So energy is at the top this week. Energy, the energy stories are staying alive, folks, because everybody needs comfort and energy gives us comfort. Well, folks, those are our top eight local and international headlines and developing news stories that I made this week. I hope you got something out of today's program. I always get something out of the research. As usual, I like to thank all the news outlets, the journalists, the people on the front lines. You deserve all the credit, the media. I'm just a media looking through your stories, keeping people informed, navigating through over 200 or more stories every week for you. If you want to show us some support here at Method 8, it does not take much. All you have to do is visit the website on the screen, buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. Or you can stop at the store, 5648 Market Street, shoot the bull with me, buy something. That's all here for the community to support stuff like this, this program. Well, folks, that's it. I'll be back next week looking through over 200 more stories just for you. Thank you for tuning to the meeting this week with me, Brian West. Have a good week, everybody. Peace. <laughs> Have no fear, fellow citizens. The teenagers here.